Piers Morgan's comments regarding Arsenal's defence ahead of the North London derby have sparked debate, particularly among fans who believe he may be underestimating Tottenham's growing potential under Ange Postacoglu. Morgan, never shy of bold claims, recently suggested that Arsenal boasts the best defence and goalkeeper in world football, even going so far as to say Spurs would struggle to breach the Gunners' defensive line. However, this confidence from Morgan might be misplaced given the current circumstances surrounding both teams. While Arsenal's backline was indeed solid last season, claiming it's the best in the world may be a stretch, especially when key players are potentially unavailable. Mikel Arteta is facing a significant injury crisis with up to seven senior players on the sidelines. Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard, both crucial to Arsenal's midfield and overall balance may miss the derby. Without them, Arsenal's defence may not be as impenetrable as Morgan believes, especially if Terry's a weakened midfield in front of it. On the other side, Tottenham is not the same team that many were quick to dismiss in previous seasons. Ange Postecoglou's tenure has seen a reinvigorated Spurs side playing with attacking flair and intensity. Their newfound identity has made them a genuine threat, and if Terry's ever a time to catch Arsenal off guard, it's now. The absence of Rice's midfield shield and Odegaard's leadership could expose vulnerabilities in Arsenal's defence, and Spurs have the tools to exploit them. Spurs have their injury concerns as well, but the team's depth and adaptability this season are notable improvements. Richarlison, whose fitness remains in doubt, would be a big miss. The Brazilian forward's presence up front has been vital for Postacoglu, especially in a system that requires pressing from the front. However, Tottenham has shown that they are not overly reliant on one player, and with the likes of Sun Hung, Min and James Madison in strong form, Spurs still possess the firepower to trouble Arsenal's defence. Madison's creativity and ability to unlock tight defences, combined with Sun's lethal finishing, provide a potent combination that Arsenal will need to be wary of. One area where Tottenham may feel the pressure is in defence. Mickey van der Ven, who missed the Newcastle match is crucial to Spurs' defensive structure. His pace and anticipation are key to Postecoglou's high, line system, and his absence could leave Spurs exposed to Arsenal's quick transitions. If van der Ven fails to recover in time, Tottenham's backline will need to be extra vigilant. Arsenal's attacking players, such as Bukayo Saka and Gabriel Jesus, could exploit any gaps that open up due to van der Ven's potential absence. Morgan's assertion about Arsenal's defensive superiority also fails to consider the nature of the North London derby itself. Form and statistics often go out the window in these heated encounters, where emotion and intensity dictate much of the play. Arsenal's defensive record, while impressive, may not hold up against a determined Spurs side that has everything to prove. The derby has historically been a fixture where Tottenham, especially at home, can rise to the occasion. The atmosphere at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium will be electric, and Spurs will be buoyed by the support of their fans, adding an extra edge to the contest. The focus on Arsenal's injuries also raises questions about their squad depth. While Arteta has built a talented squad, the absence of key figures like Rice and Odegaard may expose a lack of depth in certain areas. Arsenal's backup options will need to step up but whether they can maintain the same level of quality and cohesion remains to be seen. Tottenham, on the other hand, may have fewer standout stars, but they have a squad capable of adapting to different challenges. Postecoglou's system is not overly reliant on individuals but on collective play, which could be an advantage if Arsenal is forced to field a makeshift lineup. For Tottenham, the derby represents an opportunity to make a statement. This isn't just about local bragging rights. This is about proving that they can compete at the highest level and challenge for the top positions in the league. A win against Arsenal would not only boost their confidence but also send a message to the rest of the Premier League that Spurs are back. Postecoglou's side is still a work in progress but the foundations are there for something special. Arsenal, despite their injury woes, should not be underestimated. They remain a well-drilled side with plenty of quality, particularly in attack. Gabriel Jesus, Bukayo Saka, and Leandro Trossard are all capable of turning a game on its head, and even a slightly weakened Arsenal will pose a significant threat. However, 
the key battle will be in midfield, where Tottenham's energy and pressing could overwhelm Arsenal if Rice and Odegaard are unavailable. Eve Bissouma and Pape Matassar have shown their ability to control games and could be crucial in dictating the tempo of the match. Morgan's comments, while designed to stoke the rivalry, may have missed the mark when it comes to assessing the current dynamics of both teams. Arsenal's defence is good but without a fully fit squad, they could struggle to maintain their usual solidity. Meanwhile, Tottenham is on an upward trajectory, and with the added motivation of a North London derby, they may just have the edge to upset their rivals. This derby is shaping up to be a classic, with both teams having something to prove. Tottenham will feel that they are ready to challenge Arsenal's dominance, and with injuries levelling the playing field, this could be the perfect opportunity for Spurs to show that they are serious contenders this season. Piers Morgan might want to rethink his confidence in Arsenal's defence because, come match day, Tottenham may well have the last laugh.